Okay, you guys, so I may or may not be in labor. Um, I think it's like early labor at our last appointment, which was last Thursday, which we did vlog, but somewhere in the chaos of the weekend and John being gone, he was gone a lot this weekend with weddings, we didn't get a chance to use the footage. So let me just tell you, there's not much to update. Everything looked good. The baby still looked good. I am or was four centimeters dilated, but I wasn't having like regular contractions. I wasn't in labor. Um, two nights ago, I just kind of felt really off. John and I have been walking a lot. You saw all of our, like, we were going to the hardware store walking. I've been super, super nesting, um, painting our doors, planting bushes out front, like doing these big house projects. So I know that's like hardcore nesting. Um, on top of that, I have been having contractions, not like consistent come and go contractions. It's just like the other night, all night long, I could barely sleep because it just felt like my stomach was like in one constant contraction and it was really uncomfortable i felt kind of like foggy lately so my dad is here now um he helped us get some of the projects done like the storm door being hung um, my parents are downstairs with the girls right now john's helping me clean up so last night um i had gone to bed like i said i was feeling off the day before but not really like i just felt like kind of foggy out of it really tired i mean i felt like i could sleep all day and then last night I was going to bed, um, I was having trouble sleeping. Around midnight, I just got sick. I threw up everything that I had eaten. Um, and then when I got back in bed, I felt really shaky. I got like the chills and just my whole body ached. It kind of felt like the flu. Um, and I know I'm not sick, so I thought this might be early labor, like the beginning or labor coming in the next couple days because that's actually happened to me before my pregnancies. It's pretty common to feel like flu-like symptoms before you go into labor. Even when John got home, I was like, can you just like rub my back gently to distract me so I can fall asleep because I felt so awful. Um, so through the night, again, I felt like I kind of, I don't know if I was having dreams or if it was like in and out of sleep. It was just so much on my mind, just thinking about labor, thinking about it coming. But I slept all night pretty much off and on. Um, woke up this morning, went to church. I've been having contractions. I can tell she's low in that, um, yeah, there's definitely a lot more pressure. So I'm thinking that this is like early labor. Again, I was already four centimeters dilated, so it's you know, it doesn't take much for me to get past that. Um, my contractions haven't been super consistent. I've definitely had them today. I've had a lot more discomfort, like, and pain just, like, during them. Not, I don't know how to explain it, I guess. Just feeling a lot more pressure and just feeling like she's a lot lower. So, around 2 o'clock today, that was a few hours ago, I started taking Black and Blue Cohosh, which is a homeopathic tablet. So it's made from um, plants and it's like heavily diluted um, and they're just these little round tablets that you let dissolve under your tongue. So I've been alternating those since two um, and then that's supposed to, what they're supposed to do is one is supposed to help your uterus um, make contractions more regular and then make them stronger. So hopefully the contractions that I've already been having, usually, it, I mean it will only work if you're past due, ready, like your body's ready for labor for sure, which I know mine is because I've already been having contractions of a lot of prodromal labor and dilated um, quite a bit already. So I've been taking that, hoping that that will regulate my contractions enough to help kickstart labor. Um, and it can take several hours. So that's just what's going on today. So right now, my parents are spending time with the girls. Um, they have to leave tomorrow. And I'm so sad I would love for this little girl to come before they leave. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm upstairs getting really out of breath because this is super long-winded. Sorry, I just wanted to fill you guys in. Um, but I am about to blow up the birth pool just so that I have it in case my midwives are on standby. Um, in case things all of a sudden pick up or like shift into gear really quickly. And I've just been nesting. I've been cleaning downstairs. I'm cleaning up our room. I need to get my space ready and clean again. Um, it's not too bad. You can see, but I do have, you know, the beds not made. There's some laundry, the girls' clothes. This is all our little baby clothes right here. So I am just nesting a little bit and cleaning up, um, and hoping that these contractions really pick up. I have my birthing ball I'm gonna sit on and then I guess make dinner for the girls. It'd be really great. 
if I went to labor when they go to bed. Um, mostly because it'll be much more peaceful than trying to labor with them up. Although I would love Tyler to be able to be a part of it. Um, she's one that might wake up or keep up. But yeah, that is what is going on. And super congratulations to Natalie from NatWest and the rest. Um, they are friends of ours and other vloggers. I will link their YouTube channel below, but she just had her baby girl and I'm so excited for them. But now I'm like, okay, April's beat me, Natalie's beat me, it is my turn, come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, so I'm really excited. And I can't wait to share, you know, you guys, we wanted to share her name with you before, but I think we're just gonna wait until after. We've known the name for a long time, actually. We just didn't wanna share it until we knew for sure it was a girl. Um, and then we wanted to make a special video and we never got around to it. So we've had this little girl's name picked out and we planned to share it originally before she was born. Um, but I think now we're gonna wait and try to find a special way to reveal it after, just to keep you updated on that. Um, yeah, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, I'm gonna go get some stuff done and try to keep moving around and trying to get something going because I am ready to not be pregnant anymore. I'm ready to meet this little girl. I want my parents to meet her and I want her to come before John has to go out of town next weekend. Here we go. Baby in the birthing pool! It's in there right now! <laughs> ah. Hi! Say Dead hi! One. So today could be the day. Or tomorrow. Or, or the day after that. Or the week after that. Um trying to get Danielle to get into labor, but I don't know how to, what I don't know what to do. Okay, don't say that or people are gonna give you suggestions that you might not want. I mean I know what to do. Are you ready to be a big sister? You are? You ready? Is today the day? Is it going to be the day today? Do you know? You gotta have some kind of intuition. You have intuition? Baby intuition? You know when that baby's coming? Good one. Get that baby out. This is maximum nesting here, guys. Nesting to the max. So baby should be here any minute. Well, this is it. The last supper. Nana and Poppy are leaving tomorrow. There may be a baby here tomorrow. Right now. Probably right when they leave, the baby will, will come out, is all I can think. I'm <laughs> kidding. But probably. Clock in the morning as we're walking out the door. Yep. Good. We grilled burgers in the rain. It was worth it. It's always worth it. Always worth it to grill, in my opinion. If it's snowing, if it's raining, it's not raining now, John. if there's a hurricane. Good grief. Yep, it's just a light drizzle. Are you hungry? You just want attention before you're not, not the baby anymore, right? I did. Well, here I am in front of a different window. Still very pregnant, as you can see right there. Um, I really thought I was in labor last night. Yeah, so this morning. Yeah. Yeah, you love them. So this morning the contractions kind of stopped. I'm still having some, but they're not like as strong. So um, I was taking black and blue cohosh yesterday. I was trying to do some like natural things to help get labor going. I was hoping that she would come while my mom was still here, but my parents did leave this morning and I am so sad. Um, my mom has some other stuff to deal with at home, so it is important for her to go home, plus she has to work. I can't believe a whole month went by, we didn't have the baby, and now I'm scrambling because I'm like, okay, we need like a hundred different backup plans. I don't really, 
I mean, I think we'll be okay. It just depends on when she comes. If it's during the day, then we'll we'll need help. But if it's at night, you know, and the kids are sleeping, um, that won't be a big deal. She does have a wedding out of town this weekend on Saturday. So I'm really hoping it's either before that or after that. But it is different not having my mom here. She's done a lot to help cleaning up, like with cleaning up and stuff. So even though I haven't had the baby yet, that stuff's still hard to keep up with um, as pregnant as I am. But that's really hard to do, like bending down and picking stuff up. But yeah, I guess, I don't really know what the plan is. It was to try to like have the baby at the beginning of this week um, so that I could at least be recovered by Saturday for the most part enough that you know it'd be easier for John to be gone and now I'm kind of like well, maybe I should just take it easy and hope that we make it until after this wedding because then he doesn't have another wedding to shoot so far until June um, so that would be at least a little bit more assuring to know he doesn't have to really go out of town or at least anything out of town could be flexible uh, here's Tyler what do you think Hi. when do you think your baby sister is gonna come <laughs> hmm? five days you think she's coming in five days? What's today? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, good, the day that daddy won't be home. Is that what you're saying? You're five. Yeah, five days, daddy won't be here. He's oh. gonna be gone. Mm -hmm. Seven, six days, okay. That would be ideal because that would be yeah. great. Here's the download. I really think my due date was off. Um, I told you guys that before that we like kind of mentioned it. The paper it said April 28th. Um, as the, by the gestational size the baby was when we did the anatomy scan. Um, so when I had originally tested, taken the pregnancy test, it took like, what, like a week and a half longer than I had expected it to for a test to turn positive. Um, and then, like I said, my symptoms didn't start until later. So I really do think that that might be the case. So instead of being 41 weeks today, I might actually just be 39 weeks, so my due date would be Friday. So I still wouldn't have passed my due date yet. Um, so that's what I'm thinking is going on. I think my body just wasn't ready earlier, even though it felt like it. I think I just had overdone it walking around and stuff. Um, like I said, I am dilated for sure. I'm just not having strong enough, regular enough contractions to really send me into labor yet. But hopefully, uh, It'll be soon, right? Mm -hmm. Really want to do the home birth, so I'm hoping that with my midwives we can go by the gestational date instead of the date for my last month period because that is about two weeks difference. And that could mean the difference of having to go on Monday and being induced at a hospital or having to go um, and having two more weeks, basically. Obviously, I think we would talk about it and decide it, uh, if we should do like I don't know, an ultrasound or something to check on the placenta and just make sure everything's healthy, but just keep us in your prayers. Still pregnant, still here. We might be a little quiet on the vlog and that's probably just because we don't have any extra help right now and I'm super pregnant and possibly in labor at any moment and John has kids all the time on him, but now my mom's not here to help. So now he's unloading the dishwasher with the kid on his shoulders, waiting to go pick up dinner and then edit and vlog. Okay, well we love you guys. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't already. Click on the little bell, that little bell up at the very top of our page, if that is clicked, that will send you notifications so that you don't miss when baby Murray number five is born. Um, you'll be notified as soon as we post the video and then you can stay uh, in the loop with us. And we love you guys and we will see you soon. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe button to follow along with the Murrays. Subscribe.